Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. So I'm coming to you from a very makeshift bedroom. I'm still very much in the process of moving into our new place. As I said in last week's vlog, for the time being, I'm just gonna be doing a lot of vlogging content for you all while I get everything together. So I have another weekly vlog for you guys this week, which I'm excited to share what we've been up to. I just wanted to start this vlog off though with two very exciting things. The first one is to say that the black SLA sweatshirt that I'm wearing here and the joggers and the set, so the crop top and the zip tops are all officially live, which is so exciting because I feel like I've been waiting for the black to come in stock for ages. We had it such a nightmare with the black fabric. Um, it arrived and it just was just wrong. It was bad quality, it wasn't soft. Basically we'd had like, we were a bit let down. So I was like sent it all back and was like need to remake it all and it just ended up meaning that it took a very long time to arrive. But we now have the perfect fabric. I've actually customised it specifically for SLA so it's just an SLA only fabric which is very exciting. Um, so yeah so the black is now online so I wanted to let you guys know that. And then the other thing that I just wanted to mention, which I'm so beyond flattered by. So I have been nominated in the uh, Fabulous Magazine Influence Awards for the category of women in business, which I mean, I'm so flattered. I can't believe I'm actually, you know, in such a category. Um, and to be in there with such inspiring women is just, as I say, it's so flattering. So if you would like to vote for me, I would of course be very, very grateful. I will put the voting link below for you all. I think you have till like the 20th of September to vote. So there's a little bit of time. So yeah, I just want to start that off because I'm like, yeah, I was really excited when I found out. I haven't really ever been nominated for anything. So this is, yeah. It's really exciting. Um, but yes, so with that being said, I will get into this vlog so that you guys can see what we've been up to this week. I thought I'd just show you guys in here because it's a little bit easier to show you. So this is the black sweatshirt, super oversized. I literally love this one and I love the blue. I mean, I know I picked it to go together, but I really like it. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. The black SLA cycling shorts, by the way, they are coming back into stock. They will be in stock, I'm hoping, next week. Um, but yeah, just keep an eye on the SLA Instagram. So the black sweatshirt and the black jogger set are now online. So I'm having a pretty chill day at home today, which is really nice. I feel like the last couple of weeks I've been so busy and this week I'm doing absolutely nothing, which is actually really nice. So I'm gonna sort out a lot of stuff that I've been meaning to. I actually have tonight a, um, a Zoom event with Nas and Jamie Genevieve um, for their new Climax Extreme mascara, which I'm excited about. Haven't actually done a Zoom event yet, so it's gonna be interesting. Um, I'm just opening up the package that they've sent for the event, so I thought I'd show you guys. What is inside that? My mum is also coming over today to hang up some mirrors, which I <laughs> feel like I'm still such a child. I still need my mum to help me do like so much. So I'm really excited for those to go up. As you guys saw, you've seen the round one, but I've also got another one, um, which is really nice. So I'm looking forward to having those hung up. I also had a interior designer come around yesterday. We had such a good, um, chat meeting whatever you want to call it and i'm so excited about her ideas i basically decided that i wanted to get um some help from an interior designer just because i do lead a very busy life and i feel like everywhere that i've lived up until now i've always it's always been half done because i've never taken the time to finish it and i'm so in love with this flat i'm literally like obsessed with it and i want it to be just perfect so I thought I'd sort of invest in it a little bit and um, yeah, get some help. So that was exciting. So I'll be able to take you guys along on that journey as well as we start to do stuff. So this is the giant box that Nas has sent. Just sort of going through it. So in here, this I love this bag though. It's like a makeup bag, but I really like the material it's made from. So I've got some sort of makeup bits in there. There's also a, um, a mask, which I'm actually really pleased about. So because they're going for a sort of date night theme, they've sent these cutlery sets, which are amazing. So it's just like black. Oh, that'll be a delivery. Interrupted. I love that. I thought that was a delivery and it's actually my mum. So um, hold fire on the deliveries. We may have to do that this afternoon. I'm gonna go and let her in. Take myself down these multitude of stairs. I'll tell you what, living in this house actually keeps me so fit because I didn't have any stairs in the other place and this place has got so many. So mum's here with her toolkit. <laughs> the fix it, there's a fix it Felix. Um, I, said, I said earlier, I was like, it's funny, it doesn't matter how old you get, you still need to ask your mum for help for things. I was like, I can't hang a mirror. So you, have, you know, I don't need to learn how to hang a mirror because you're here. Boxes of Oh, you know, what is this? Box. This is quite an intense yeah. screw. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, you have come fully prepared. I have. So we're hanging this round one here. Just going to go here. 
And then we're hanging the long one down here, which is a sort of hallway style one right there. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> Mum's got an extremely technical way of measuring. Very technical. <laughs> measuring. Okay. Mum goes, I've it's got okay. a really technical bit yeah, coming up, and so I look down and she's <laughs> measuring with her finger. finger just about there. Hey, you do you okay. do what you gotta do, you know? Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's fine. So then I go back up here and yeah. use my other finger actually. Okay. And then I go like this. There we go, this is like and less than an hour to hang. So the uh the bolt's in. Now's the fun bit. It's where it comes crashing down. No, don't. <laughs> I'll hold you for oh yay. Look yeah, that's good. That's perfect. I like this one. A little Amazon purchase. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, this is the first mirror that we have hung in our new place. Woo woo. Oh, it's nice. I'll link this one below for you guys. Um, this is the smaller size that comes in a big version, but this is the whatever the small one is. But it's good. I like this little hair check mirror as you leave. It's always needed. This one was a little bit more stressful. Yeah. Just because it's slightly, it's an awkward place to put a mirror, but. It's sort of the only space that's really good in this hallway for a full length in the whole house, really, because the light's so good. So I was determined to have one here. Um, this one is from um, a brand called, I think it was called Melody Mansion or something. But I will uh, link this below for you all. Yeah, you nailed it. <laughs> I don't need to go and have a Valium, it was good. Okay, so I'm back, albeit looking a lot more glam. So. <laughs> Mum literally arrived at the worst time, I didn't even realise what time she was coming over. So I actually just went out for lunch with Mum at such a nice spot. I put the video of my food over me talking here. I had a quinoa and quail's egg salady beetroot thing and it was amazing. So now that Mum is gone, I got myself ready for this Zoom event, which is at like 5.30, I think it's about 4 o'clock now. So I thought if I get ready early, then at least it's done. Although, I, I mean, I haven't really made that much of an effort. I literally tied my hair up. Do you think, did you guys ever do this? I tied my hair up behind my head to get ready and then I was like, mm, actually doesn't look that bad. I'm probably just gonna leave it there. I feel like that happens a lot. And I'm literally just wearing a band tee and like the bottom half of me is obviously cycling shorts. I mean, of course it wouldn't be, wouldn't be me unless I was wearing cycling shorts. But yeah, I just feel like it's weird getting ready for an event to sit in your lounge. But I'm excited to see what it's gonna be like. Anyway, on that note, I thought we'd get back to unpacking the box of the NAR stuff that they sent so we can actually have a look and see what's in here because I think there is a lot of goodies and I'm excited to find out. So I think before mum arrived, I'd just gotten to the cutlery set. So they've sent like two of these black cutlery sets, which I actually really like. They're so nice. Um, So we've got those. And then obviously there's this book that's called The Power of Eye Contact, which I'm excited to read because I'm such an eye contact person. Like if someone doesn't look me in the eye when they're talking to me, it stresses me out. So I'm intrigued by this book. So that's in there. Then obviously there was that makeup bag that's got a few little different bits and bobs in. So we've got some 70% dark chocolate, which Joe will be very happy with. This is one of his favorite things. We also have a bottle of Fortnum & Mason red wine, which is very exciting. I have such an obsession with red wine. It's a little bit worrying. We also have some wine glasses, but I think unfortunately one of them smashed in the, um, in the transporting of this box, but we have one, which is fine. So this candlestick holder has just come out here. I think I'm seeing a theme here. I think this is to set up a date night table, which is such a shame because I don't actually have a table yet because obviously it's gonna go over in this area. But um, I'll just have to set up the island or something. So in there, there's also some black plates, but we've had a few, a few casualties in here. This plate is also not traveled well, but we've got one. And then there's also some red placemats at the bottom there. And then this is the new Climax Extreme Mascara. I love the packaging, it's really chunky. So this is what the brush looks like. It's really fat, but I just love the packaging. I think it's so cool. Your arm smells good. Does it smell off? Mm, I like Marmite. I have been eating Marmite things. You have been eating Marmite things. So my Zoom event was very fun. And now Joe's home. I've come back. Um, and we're going to the cinema, aren't we? Yes. For the first time in... I wouldn't even know. Seven months? Something like that. A Maybe. long time. Um, because there's a new film out that Joe wants to see, which is called... Tenet. 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 I don't really know what I'm in for, but... I'm very excited. It's yeah? Like, it's going to be like Inception. Oh, isn't that really confusing and hard to follow? I think it might be. Oh. A little bit tough to follow, but you'll be fine. Okay. You're, you're good at following. It's going to be weird wearing a mask in the cinema. Oh, no. Do you have to do that? Surely. 
yeah. communal space, surely you're gonna have to wear a mask. But tomorrow night I'm sorry, is actually something I'm very excited about. You're gonna tell us what it is? Um, what is it again? It's called Six by Nico. So basically, Joe randomly got slightly pissed one night and just texted me going, I've booked dinner for us at this, at this place. And it's called this, and apparently it's, what's well, well, basically, it just changes its menu every so six weeks, is that right? Every six weeks it changes its menu. I was recommended it by someone, and so you don't know what it's going to be when you book it. And this week it's, uh... Childhood uh, favourites. Childhood favourite meals. But it's bougie, right? But the menu's like, what did it say? Eggs and soldiers. Egg and, eggs and soldiers, fish and chips, uh, no. Eggs and soldiers, fish fingers, lasagna. lasagna mac and cheese. Mac and cheese something else oh, nice. but when you look on the menu it's gonna be unbelievable it's like really small things and there's like a wine pairing so we'll take you guys along to that obviously i'll do my food vlog of it and i literally booked oh, it food vlogger bit and i booked it like a month and a half ago or ages ago and i completely forgotten about it and then it's just popped up so it's an exciting little wednesday night i'm very excited Fun. date, date night. night we love a date night we do Okay, right, we're gonna go to the cinema now. Bye bye. It's a very nice evening. Glorious. The weather is actually so nice. Very yes. warm today. On my uh, sassy vintage racing jacket, but I'm not even sure if I need it. Surely you're very warm. Seriously. Yeah, but cinemas get cold, don't they? It's quite nice to have something wrapped to wrap up in it. Exactly. So, and I've got my legs out, which is slightly risky. So we'll soon find out if I get cold. Oh, there's a screaming child. So I've just come home from the gym and Joe, oh, turn the light on. Joe has had a very exciting delivery. Also, please just ignore the state of that room. I mean, Ikea, hurry up. Um, Joe's had a very exciting delivery. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. The moment I've been waiting for for a while. Yes. Oh, it's very sassy. It's nice, isn't it? Oh my god, it's so nice. So we'll see how it look goes. Look at it. Buzz bike. Buzz bike. Oh my god, me? look. That's so cool, and it comes with a helmet and everything. That's actually so much. I didn't expect it to be so fancy. Yeah. So I requested the helmet and lights, and then they just drop your bike around. Oh, it's, it's like a subscription thing, isn't it? Thirty quid a month. It's quite clever. Because there's no bikes around at the moment, you can't buy them. No, and now that we've moved, Joe needs to cycle to work. I mean, I'm a little bit nervous about this, but I've told him he has to wear his helmet and be careful. I've got a helmet. Yeah. yeah. Um, so now you'll be able to get up and go to the gym early. It's quite exciting. It's very exciting. Oh my God, how amazing. Like Are you going to cycle it to work? Yeah. Now. A bit now. It's like a kid at Christmas waiting for this to come. You actually were, weren't you? I was very excited. It's because it sort of stopped your... Top your life slightly. Also, can we just deal with the fact that we're still living with like boxes just everywhere? We've lived here now for like two weeks, but there's just nowhere to unpack stuff. Although this stuff actually is SLA sample, so that needs to go somewhere else. This room just gives me anxiety, but we just won't even speak there. I'm having a clear out already because I feel like I need to get rid of stuff before the IKEA wardrobes actually arrive. So I'm just getting rid of basically everything that you can see here. Um, so yes, still looking great. I also feel like I've got to fill you guys in on the film that we went to see last night. I understood absolutely none of it. None of it. Not one single thing. It was so confusing. Joe thought it was hilarious that when we actually left the cinema, I was like, what was that film? It's very confusing, just in case you all go and see it. It's like, just confusing. So whenever I come back from the gym at the moment, I'm using my Olaplex hair mask, which is just transform my hair i know that some of you have been asking for a little bit of a hair update because it does i do feel like it's the best it's been in such a long time and i know i mentioned in one of my other videos that i was using olaplex religiously so i do use it now twice a week without fail um and i just i don't know i just feel like i actually see such a difference in my hair it feels thicker like really like when i hold it up in a ponytail now it feels so thick um, it's just getting so much longer and I'm suffering with so much less breakage as well I still get like the occasional bits around my face that go a bit weird But um, in the grand scheme of things, it's so much better than it was So I just got this little spray bottle. I got this from Amazon um, And I just spray my hair because you're supposed to put it on like towel dry hair But um, I just kind of wet it with the spray bottle and then depending on what I've got on that day um, that sort of will be how long I leave it in for. So like for example today, 
Um, I'm not really doing anything until this evening. So I might as well leave it in my hair for an hour or two. Um, you can leave it in for just sort of 15 minutes if you've never used Olaplex before. You can just do a really quick sort of jobby with it. But um, yeah, I love when I've got sort of nothing on to sort of just leave it in my hair all day. And um, it's honestly transformed my hair. So if you've not used it, please do try it. And I think you guys will also be obsessed. When I think about how much I do to actually look after my hair, I just think, God, I wish I'd actually done this when I was younger. Like if there was one thing I could tell my younger self, it would be to look after your hair. It's because I just, I mean, when I look back on how I used to treat my hair, honestly, I would be, I mean, I dyed it every color under the sun when I was younger. I also just like never used heat protection sprays, never used hair masks. Just, you know, was going for blow dries, was using heat styling tools that were just so hot for my hair. And it's no wonder that it ended up just being so damaged. That's actually reminding me. Um, when I was at that GHD event, which you guys saw in my vlog last week, so I met the head stylist of GHD and he was just giving me some tips on like the um, rise brush and how to use it and just other tips. And he basically said that when you use your hot tools, so anything less than 185 won't style your hair, so the, the style won't hold. But then he said anything over 195 will cause irreversible damage to your hair. And I was so shocked to find that out because I don't know about you guys, but a lot of my styling tools go up to 200 degrees, 220 degrees. And you know, like I just sometimes turn my tools on and just whack them up to whatever the sort of highest setting is. And now I'm like, I can't believe that this is not more of a known thing. So I feel like I need to tell everyone to basically make sure that whenever they're using a styling tool, just basically do not put it any hotter than 185. So yeah, I'm basically now I'm so cautious of it. I wasn't actually using that many heat styling tools on my hair anyway because I tried to stay away from using too much heat. But now when I do, I make sure that they are no more than 185. So I just thought, while I'm doing my uh, twice weekly hair care routine in this section of the vlog, I thought I'd just give you guys that little bit of knowledge in case you're also, you know, using a tool and not realizing that actually it could be seriously damaging your hair. So yeah, so I've got my mask in now. I'm just gonna brush it through and then leave it in for a couple of hours. So the sofa is currently looking like this because I've just had a guy come over to essentially, I think it was called like Stain Guard, um, the sofa. So they turned up with this big spray machine thing and they've literally sprayed the entire sofa so this is to protect it from getting stained um which is obviously needed because i do understand having a white sofa is probably not the most sensible thing in the whole entire world but i love it and it looks amazing so yeah but hopefully this will help um so yeah basically it just means that it reduces the amount that will get stained and if it gets something on it it gives you essentially more time to get it off before the stain sets in so we're all ready for our dinner this is what i'm wearing this top is actually Coming soon to SLA the label. I am launching a premium rib range, which I'm so excited about. Um, so it's just loads of basics, including this one sleeved top, which I love. It comes in, I think it comes in two other colours. So that's exciting, that's coming soon. I've got these ASOS jeans on, and then my shoes are from Misguided. These ASOS jeans are actually from the ASOS tool section. I love them because they're super, super long. So they look great with these kind of style of shoes. But um, yeah, we're so ready. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Woo! I actually am very excited. It's gonna be glorious. I don't know. I was hoping you were gonna tell us about what you were seeing. I'm trying to remember. I was just saying straight. I've got that. I don't wanna oh. be anything other. And I don't know why, because I've not watched One Tree Hill in so long. I was singing. I know I can be what I wanna be. You have to go with it. I don't know the if song. I work hard at it. Now that Joe's back and we've just gone past the cinema in Notting Hill, he has just said, oh, Tenant, what a great film. What a film? Right. It makes your brain hurt. It's 
very hard to understand, but it, is, it all comes together in the end. You, know, you get it and you're like, wow, that is, that is, what a story. No, that's what not what happens. It's like Inception, yeah, but, but a bit more weird. <laughs> not as weird, but weird. I think I need to read the book. I think we need to watch it three book. times. I don't need to see that film again. No, Definitely. Really? Well, so? It was so long as well. It was like three hours. Yeah, it's quite a journey. Yeah. I would recommend it though. It's kind of loud in here, but we've arrived. Joe's picking his beer. He's got a very sassy beer selection, which he's very happy about. But um, this is the name of it, just in case you guys were wondering. And then this is what we're in for tonight. Apparently, Joe got very excited about this aperitif, but we don't like, um, we don't really like orange things. It's the name, though. You yeah. Don't, you don't remember the, you don't remember Keenan and Kel. No, Joe says it's half before my time. Well, I do know. Who, yeah. Soda? yeah, but I do, I do know them. I didn't, I didn't watch it. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, it's lost on me. Um, yes, and then this is what we're in for. I'm so excited, especially for this one. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, so our first course is here. I'm really hoping you can hear this because it's so loud in here. Um, this is a beef burger donut with uh, mustard mayo and some sort of ketchup. But I wasn't paying attention to it. Some bread. Yeah. Some sort of chicken butter. Chicken butter. Wow. Second course, lasagna, um, or should I say first one in the actual menu, because apparently the one before was a starter. Um, this has got some sort of like ox cheek thing in it and homemade pasta. So this looks great. This is the fish finger, which is like salmon tartare. Um, it's very, very sassy. Amazing. Sarah's getting a little concerned because we've, we've got the wine pairing and they've had is this number two? This is yeah, Sarah's but, number three. But every glass is getting bigger. So this is the... And we're only on course three. Course three. And we've got some, a large glass of white here. And Sarah with white wine, guys. Cheat day. It's a bit of a risk. Yeah. So uh, watch this space. Thank you. The dream course has arrived. This is the truffle mac and cheese. I mean, this is the bougiest truffle mac and cheese I think I've ever seen in all my life. But I am excited. I, I wish even... they had a smell of vision. I know. I smell of vision. Yeah, this is the Smells. kind of thing that you actually need to be able to smell. Oh, Joe's excited. So we're on to the final course. Duck, duck, goose. And I mean, there's all sorts of goodness in there. We've got a little glass of wine with every course. Guys, it's getting, it's getting. I had to give the last one to Joe because he's not. The food last night, guys, was insane. It was so good. Okay, I actually was a little bit pissed <laughs> at the end of the meal because the glasses that like, I was expecting with a wine pairing menu that you'd get like a smaller glass, but the glasses, as I said before, they just seemed to be getting bigger as it was going on. I had to give them to Joe in the end, because I was like, if I drink any more, I'm not even gonna be able to walk out of here. Honestly, since lockdown, I have become such a cheat date. I used to be quite good at drinking, and now I just feel like I have a couple of glasses of wine and I am so pissed, but it was so good. If you um, are in London or you are coming to visit London, you get the opportunity to book yourself in, definitely do, because I can't recommend it enough. The food was insane. Um, Joe and I actually tempted to go back because obviously they change the menu every six weeks and we're actually tempted to book in again because it was that good so yes anyway so today I was gonna do some filming but some of the products that I needed for it um, haven't actually arrived so I'm gonna push that back to maybe I don't even know if it'll arrive tomorrow actually I might have to do that next week so instead I'm gonna be working on some SLA stuff today quite boring not much is gonna be happening we're just gonna be sat at my laptop screen pretty much all day I've got to do some fabric picking and get some bits and bobs ready for the um, winter collection the gray mile set went back in stock last night though which was good and also the cream sweatshirt and then we have a, a big restock and some new colors coming so soon so I'm really really excited about that um, but yes, yeah, just a lot to juggle at the moment. I've got obviously moving and sorting this place out, then SLA stuff, and also like sort of the influencer stuff. So it's just, there is a lot of moving parts at the moment. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed by it all, but uh, I'm really hoping that once the house starts to come together, I'll feel, um, just like I've got my shit together a bit more because at the moment I just don't, I feel, <laughs> I feel like I'm all over the shop. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's the plan today. 
Do you know what I've actually started watching again? Which um, I had a conversation with Joe about it a while ago and I was like, it's been so long since I've actually watched it that I've started. New Girl. Okay, New Girl I feel like is underrated. Well, it's not even underrated actually. I just haven't watched it in so long. So I've started it from the very beginning because it's just so good. And I actually forgot how good it is. Um, but we have... We watch things on the iPad downstairs and then the TV up here is logged in on Joe's Netflix and can I remember my Netflix password? No. Honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I change my passwords for things all the time just because I forget what I changed it to the last time I forgot what it was. It's a nightmare. Okay, so I'm slightly out of breath, but that's just because I've been washing the walls. So one of my amazing subscribers, actually a couple of you guys, let me know. My last vlog I mentioned about the marks on the walls that were left um, by whoever lived here before us and they just weren't cleaned properly. And um, you're all recommending magic erasers. So I went onto Amazon. I actually bought the ones that... Um, I don't know, it's like Mist or something, but they've sent these instead, which is a bit weird. But I tried, just literally tried it. Oh my God. I cannot believe how well this has gotten the marks off the walls. Like, I'm actually in shock. Why is it not like more of a no? I didn't even realise this was a thing. I'm so excited by this. Honestly, this is adult life and things like this excite you, I swear to God. But um, yeah, I've literally just washed the wall over here. I'll show you. So the marks on there at the moment are just from where I was washing it. But, um, I don't even remember from last week's vlog, there was like, all those big, like, grey kind of dirt marks all over. And once this is dry, I reckon it's going to be completely clean. I actually can't believe how well that worked. I'm so excited now, I'm going to go around the whole house just scrubbing walls. So, believe it or not, this is mine and Joe's first time cooking in this <laughs> flat since we've moved in. Um, so we're having our fave stir fry. I'm having a tofu stir fry. So it's having chicken. So it's cooking separate so, um, Where's the noodle packet? Okay. Oh. We are completely obsessed with these noodles though with our stir fry. They're so nice. We get them from Whole Foods, but you can also get them on Amazon. But yeah, it just works so well with stir fries. Okay, so they look super unappealing. They look like some sort of alien. I, I don't even know. Alien. Are you? Great minds. Um, but they taste amazing. And the texture's really nice, isn't it? Because they're like chewy. Yeah, they're like chewy. They all stick together, but it just... It just works. I like to put my noodles in the middle, like a little nest. Nest of noodles. But to me, that looks very nice. I'm excited because I think it's going to taste amazing. We used this sauce today, which is a sort of organic sweet soy sauce. I went to Whole Foods earlier and got all the organic stuff, so we're feeling very bougie and very healthy. I've got a giant, giant meal. This is some real, real nerve wracking stuff that we're about to do. <sighs> This is the first time I've let us sit on this couch with red wine, but after it's Scotch Guard slash Stain Guard thing, whatever we're calling it. It's yeah. So we successfully sat on the couch with red wine. We didn't spill any. Yay. We win. Nailing it. Joe's also very jealous of my new water bottle. Oh, I just don't know where it came from. <laughs> I bought this so that I just drink. it in. So I drink more water. It's from Amazon. I'll link it below in case you guys. I actually really like it. I think it looks really nice. I like it too. It's very like, you're not showing the camera. I know, I'm looking at it myself. Well, share. There you go. It's like very aesthetically pleasing. Um, but it's good. I've drank three of these. This is my third one today, so it's that probably the good. most water that I normally ever drink. So, so. traditionally very bad at drinking water. Yeah, I'm not good. It's like my New Year's resolution every year and I never, ever, ever, ever do it. Hydration is key. It is. Joe likes to say that a lot. Um, anyway, we're going to finish the vlog here, it's Thursday night and tomorrow I'm just working from home so I'm not really doing anything and then we're going to go out for a meal in the evening. But we haven't even got anything planned on the weekend really, which is kind of nice because I feel like it's our first free weekend in a long time. Agreed. So we hope you guys have enjoyed watching and we will see you in our next vlog slash I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.